Today I want to talk to you about a research tool that most students gloss over and it's amazing how many students have been told not to use it. It's even endorsed by the American Historical Association. The AHA, come on people! What is this amazing research tool that students ignore that's endorsed by the American Historical Association? It's called Wikipedia. 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 It's an amazing research tool. Did I say it was endorsed by the AHA? I think I did. Anyway, we're going to check into that. And we're going to do that right now. Research tool tip number one. Wikipedia. Be a fool not to use it. So, okay, here we are on Wikipedia, on their page. And uh, remember, this is part of research tip number one, how Wikipedia can be used as a research tool. And if you remember, we were talking about the slave market in the 18th century and how uh, it developed and how human beings were being used as commodities and people were making a whole heck of a lot of money for it. And so let's say you were going to research this. And during the lecture, I created a name um, and you wrote it down. And it, the name was Edward Colston. Uh, and there he is right there, a British politician. So you click on Edward and then you see we have a Wikipedia free encyclopedia entry on Mr. Edward Colston, uh, born in uh, 1636, died 1721, a Bristol English slave trader. So there it is. Now we have down here one, two, three footnotes. So you notice that uh, if we click on that one, uh, it talks about a BBC entry and uh, the British Broadcasting Corporation. So remember, Wiki is a research tool. You don't cite Wiki. But you can go to the BBC website and cite the BBC. So if I already did that here, and here is Nigel Pocock and Victoria Cook, just as it said in Wiki, Pocock, Nigel, Cook, Victoria, 5 November 2009. And we can get uh, the brief information here that is on Edward Colston, and we can then use this BBC website as our citation, as our evidence about Edward Colston. And Wiki helped us find it. If we go back to uh, the Edward Colston, we have uh, a footnote number two, which is a virtual tour of the Black and Asian presence in Bristol. Um, and that's at the National Archives. That's, that's a little tougher. You might need to have uh, to be in England to get to the National Archives to see this. So we're going to go to the next one, which is three. And this one you see uh, appeared in the Slavery and Abolition, which is a journal of the slave. So it's a journal, which is really cool. And because it's a journal, I may be able to find it in EBSCO or JSTOR or something like that. And it's written by Madge Dresser, fantastic historian at the University of West England in Bristol. And um, so if we follow that one down, um, we come up with uh, this link here, which is a journal of slave and post-slave studies. Um, and then here's her article, and we can get a download citation in that. And here's an image of it. Uh, anyway, uh, what's super, super important about this is that Wiki pointed the way for you to go. And that's, that's what's really super, super, super exciting. So Wiki can be used as a tool. Now, a couple things. As you know, uh, Wiki has a table of contents, and there's your reference section where we want to go. And if you look at all these little arrows... Uh, these little arrows here uh, point you to somewhere that you can go on the internet. Um, so here's the independent. I think that's a newspaper. So if I were to click on that, it should take me to uh, a site by the independent, which is a newspaper, Bristol torn apart over the statue of Edward Colston. 
but is this a figure of shame or a necessary monument to the history of slavery? So uh, Bristol is still very much affected by this. So there's a lot of information that Wiki will point you to. Wiki, a research tool, people. Go ahead and use it. I think it's exciting.